coach is from France, former ISKA champion, and has also fought for a lot of other top organizations as well, including Glory. Fought as recently as Glory 47 against Kaula Bali, and has a very focused and determined look on his face as he steps over the top rope. Glory Crouch, France. Ladies and gentlemen, red corner, fighter from Moldova, Pavel Voronin. Well, fans of King of Kings, and especially the fans here in Moldova, be very familiar with Pavel Voronin, 18 and 10, is the 31-year-old. He's from right here in Kishino. So I'm sure he's got a lot of friends, families, supporters, fans, everyone. This arena is completely packed full, sold out here in Kishino, the Manaj Sports Arena. And that's as big as you can possibly get. This is the biggest fight arena in Moldova. So you couldn't fit another person in here with a shoehorn. And you take a look at the crowd on hand here. Pavel Veronin making his way out to ringside has been in the ring with a lot of top fighting talent in Europe, including Andre Stoika, Lucian Danilectu. In fact, uh, his last appearance here at King of Kings was a loss. It was a knockout to Danilectu. So he's got to be more determined, more focused than ever before to get a big win here in front of his hometown crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for the blue corner, 29 years old, official height 190 centimeter, official weight 95 kilogram. His personal record, 17 wins, four losses. Iska champion from France, Florent Coach. <laughs> fighting for the red corner, 31 years old, official height 185 centimeter, official weight 95 kilogram. His personal record, 18 wins, 8 by knockouts, 10 losses. Galileo champion, participant and priceman of international fighting events. Fighter, representing Basarabia Gym, Moldova, Pavel Voroni. Ring referee Andre Grosso, KOK rules, three rounds, three minutes each. You're fighting KOK rules, I would say a clean fight and obey my commands all the time. Good luck. Judge, 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 first round. Fight. Round one. It says a five centimeter height differential between these two. It looks like a little bit more than that to me. Couch is quite noticeably taller. Ronan though is very Stop. Stop. thick. Stop. 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 Do not hold with two hands. Fight. The referee Andre Grosu laying down the law here right in the beginning of this one. Ooh, you can hear the slap of those kicks. And a Stop. big knee. Fight. Goes upside the glove. Ronan stumbles him. Oh, and a hard body Stop. shot that time just Fight. railed him. Right in the lower left abdomen. Couch is still game though. Stop. Fight. Looks a little bit perturbed by that, but he still marches on. He's using that Stop. very effectively. That's a powerful Second goal. shot from him. But hold with two hands, okay? the referee all Fight. over his case about two hands. Ooh, nice combo again by Veronin as he was hunting Stop. him down. Fight. Boy, that one Stop. telling shot about 30 seconds fight. ago from Veronin is still having a big effect on Kauch as this fight goes on. Stop. 
Right? Ronan. Stop. Three or four shots there on that combo. Right? Stop. Right? Coming up on one minute left in the round. Head Stop. kick. Blocked by Veronin. Fight. Take a look at the upper thigh area on the outside of the lead left leg of the Frenchman. Tattooed with the feet of the Moldovan. Stop. Fight. Looks like Kauch is kind of recomposed himself, maybe shaking the cobwebs out a little bit after that initial, well, it wasn't a knockdown, but it stumbled him. Spinning back fist that time by the Frenchman. Stop. Fight. May have recomposed himself here a little bit more. Veronin now, Stop. not going in for the kill, but just taking his time here. Fight. Stop. Stop. After stop, no action. Fight. Nice Stop. left hand that Time. splits the guard, and that is the end of the opening round. And it gives Florent Couch something to think about here. Two heavy hitters in the opening round. Florin Kauch and Pavel Veronin duking it out. I think that Veronin's definitely gonna come away with round number one in his pocket. Second round, fight. Second round. Low kicks exchanged as we open up round number two Stop. here. Fight. Coach has really had some nice knees here. Once he Stop. gets you in his grasp, very skilled at sneaking those, e those knees in from a number of different directions. It looks like Coach is Looking to keep Fight. this thing on the outside here in round number two. Veronin forcing the issue, barreling Fight. his way in. <laughs> Runs right into a right hand that time, does the Moldovan. And that's being back fist. Veronin said, yeah, that was that was pretty, but let's let's keep this thing going. What was that? Corner. They have caught a shot. Okay. Up. Time. Fight. And we're back to business. Stop. Wow, hands flying all Fight. over the place from both gentlemen. Kauch uncorks another knee now. Stop. Fight. This is one of the fights I've been Fight. really looking forward to as far as the, not only the Heroes World Series, but the entire card from top to bottom on this event. Fight. Both these guys are, are first class fighters, Stop. fought all over the world against some of the top talents. Keep in mind, this is the last event here of the year. This is what we've all been waiting for. Every year we look forward to these huge shows in Moldova, the huge shows in Lithuania. And it's always a great way to cap off the year here in Moldova. Oh, you can hear it that time. You can actually hear 
the plastic of his groin guard cracking. Oh boy. You can see a little bit of blood maybe coming out of the eyebrow. The crowd can certainly appreciate the heart of Verona. Certainly one more time. Wouldn't want to, be careful. Wouldn't want to change places with him Five. for anything in the world right now. Ooh, he got caught with the left hand too. Stop. That's a game changer. Five. I don't care if he says he's okay or not. Stop. When you get hit with a shot Five. like that that may have cracked your cup, that's a big game changer here. Luckily for him, there's 30 seconds left, but it could be a long 30 seconds. Stop. Five. Ooh, Verona. Stop. Ooh, and another knee Five. was right on the belt line. Sometimes even when a shot just hits you close Stop. to that area after you've had such Five. a uh, vicious attack between the legs. Stop. Just makes your liver quiver. Five. And again, a hard knee to the bread basket. That one partially blocked. End of the second round. King of Kings president, Donatus Simonitis, looking on here with a concerned look on his face as we take a look at the action from round number two. Boy, I think that low blow at the end of the round there, that's going to be a, a monkey wrench into the situation here. Ooh, yeah. Was that the low blow or not? Yep, that was one of them. Mm. Seconds out. Blue. Red corner. Owl. One final stretch there from the red corner. Blue, out. Third round. Fight. Final round. This will do it. One round left for these two. And again, that kick. Straying somewhere where it shouldn't. Wow, quick combinations. Very quick combinations from the Frenchman. Somebody's mouth guard went flying. Time. Time. Fight. Somebody's mouth guard's laying on the ring, I think. Either that or it's tape from the glove. Fight. Could be tape from the glove or Stop. Yeah, it's tape. No clinching, guys. Fight. Stop. Oh, this thing is really Fight. getting uncomfortable to watch here. These guys are doing a lot of damage on each other. Stop. Wow. The accumulative damage Fight. that is starting to add up between these guys is making it Stop. hard to watch even. Put the kids to bed here. Because this one is going to get ugly before it gets pretty. Chipped away at the knee as the Fight. Frenchman moves in once again, tries to bury the knee into the Fight. sternum area. A hard kick to the body. You can see both guys Fight. trying to suck some oxygen into their air to get him to the end of the round. Fight. Looks like Kauch is coming in, getting his damage in and then forcing a break. Hard right hand there at close range from Veroni. Stop. Guys, no bridge. Do not hold. Fight. Right in the face, laying down the law, making the rules perfectly clear here. Low kick lands by Veroni. 
can see the swelling on the outside of the lead left leg. Very predominant. Head kick finds the mark. Ooh, and that left jab stopped him in his tracks. Not much time now. Let's go, so this is the final me. round, so this, this is a very hard round to score. Both these guys are landing almost an equal amount of shots. There's a lot of holding, a lot of clinching. Makes it very hard to score, get, at least get a very clear winner. Nice cracking low kick, though. Kowicz very slow to get up there. Maybe he knew it was the end of the round and was just saying, hey, well, the fight's already over as he spits out the mouth guard. That's got to feel good. Finally get that thing out of there. After nine minutes, very hard fought fight here between these two. Let's take a look at one more time what happened. I don't think there really was any highlights, to be honest, here in, in this third round. It was not a pretty fight but a painful one. I guarantee there's gonna be some trouble sleeping tonight once these two get back to the hotel. A lot of ice I can see in the near future for both of these men. Well, Ritis Kuzmenka a little bit slow to get into the ring. Maybe the, maybe we're going to see an extra round. Maybe it's a, a, a close decision. Let's send it up to ringside and find out. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, by unanimous judge decision, draw. It, it was a unanimous decision. It, it was a draw. <laughs> well, yeah, I said it could have been close, and there's a lot of mumbling and murmuring here from the crowd in Kishino, but it, that's a hard one to score. How the heck are you supposed to score that, especially that third round, with plus all the low blows? That, you know, you kind of forget what was happening once you have these long breaks in the action, so... I mean, at least from our perspective, right? Watching it here on TV. Well, the judges couldn't sort it out either. Up next, the heavyweights in action. Habib Ibragimov of Russia taking on Maxim Bolotov.